Okay, uh, I'd now like to take uh, advantage of introducing Andy Burrows. Uh, Andy has been in the uh, devices and lasers for a long time. Uh, since 2000, he's been uh, inventing, patenting devices and working very hard. And I've known uh, him and um, Innovative Optics for as long as I have been using lasers because they are the guys who make us safe by providing us with very effective laser glasses. So, Andy, it's your show. Go ahead. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that warm welcome. I, pre I appreciate that very much. Um, so we're going to be discussing laser safety and uh, specifically the eyewear for laser safety. So again, my name is Andy. I'm uh, with Innovative Optics. Uh, we are a family owned company. We have been um, doing this since about 1996. And my information and contact information is right below there. Um, as I mentioned, we've been around since 1996. We are a uh, specifically a laser eyewear company that deals with medical and dental safety eyewear. We are ISO 9001 certified, an industry leader, and we're located right here in really cold Minneapolis, Minnesota today. Today we are very cold. Um, so we want to talk today about why wearing laser eyewear is important. Uh, it's pretty obvious that, that uh, lasers can do damage, but specifically, there are two styles of lasers, the class 3B and class 4 lasers that are the most dangerous, and they will cause permanent retinal damage with one shot as possible. Uh, also, OSHA requires wearing the appropriate laser eyewear uh, when working with these lasers. We get the question, all laser eyewear is the same, right? Well, no, that's definitely not true. Laser eyewear is specific to the laser wavelengths you are working with. Always check the eyewear to make sure it is correct. Um, both clinician and patient safety needs to be checked every time you're using any type of laser. Uh, you also wanna periodically inspect the eyewear for scratches, pitting, um, any type of damage that might be there. And then, of course, laser eyewear can look very similar to each other, but have very different types of protection levels. So, for example, here you'll see two pictures. Both look very similar, but if you're using a 1064 nanometer YAG laser, one has a high protection and the other one has almost no protection. So be sure to check the wavelengths on your lasers on your eyewear with the lasers. And why? Well, a couple of definitions here is the uh, nominal hazard zone has to do with the area around you that can have uh, consequences when working with a laser. So an interesting point is that some dental lasers can travel up to three football fields long and still do retinal damage, permanent retinal damage. So please be careful working around these lasers. Uh, VLT has to do with the visible light transmission. That's how much light is transmitted through those lenses. So the higher the VLT, the more you're going to be able to see. The lower the VLT, the less you're going to be able to see. So when you're looking at different eyewear, you want to have the best VLT possible. But of course, you need to be specific on the OD. The OD is the optical density. That is the specific laser wavelength you're working with and the protection level that it's blocking. So for an example, if you're looking at laser eyewear and I've got a pair right here and you're looking at your eyewear and you see these numbers on top here, you'll see OD and then a number. So for example, this one says 1064 NM OD7. That means at the 1064 wavelength, it's blocking 99.99999% of the light at that specific wavelength. Barriers are also very important to think about. Um, in the dental community, most procedure rooms uh, are open and windows are obviously a concern too. So you want to make sure that you're blocking both the entryway and windows of procedure rooms where the laser is located. And of course, having signs outside the door as well. If you have any questions on this, we can help you and we custom make things like this. And then there's laser glasses. 
lots of different laser glasses out there. Here's three examples of ours. The 701 frame fits over prescription glasses. It's a very standard frame. Uh, it's actually this style of frame here, but in a different color. The bendable temples in the back here bend to the back of your head so that they won't come off when you're bending over. Uh, the next frame over is one of our pediatric frames. Of course, in dentistry, there is a lot of laser pediatric being done. And we have three different sizes of pediatric frame styles. And then the next model over is a 7X2, a standard fit over prescription frame, or fits over prescription lenses, and it's a nice universal fit. That's called the 7X2 frame. Now, one of our big things right now is protecting infants and toddlers. So our 626 patient goggle will protect everything from an infant all the way up until a teenager, an adult. This is an adjustable patient goggle. And as you can see here, there is white silicone on the very bottom here. And what that white silicone does is it acts as a comfort barrier to the patient. And also this module here actually helps you change the distance so that you can shrink it up for a smaller patient like that, and then have it very close together for a little baby, like you see in the picture there. And these are removable. So what we're doing here is we're actually offering you the ability to uh, reduce cross-contamination between patients by having a removable silicone eye cup that can be cold sterilized or autoclave. And then we offer multiples with your goggle so that you can put them back in and actually go on to your next patient and have less cross-contamination. We are also known for the laser clip-in. When working with loops and lasers, we have an insert for you. Because we've been doing it so long, we have over 25 different shapes and sizes of inserts. It depends on your loop. Your loops are different sizes, different manufacturers, different magnification. And we have the experience and the history to know some of the best fits for that. So in here, you'll see a couple of different examples of different uh, inserts and different lens types that go in those inserts. Again, we've got to make sure that we're getting the proper insert with the laser wavelength, but also the proper fit for your loops. So again, we have experience with that. You can let us know if you have any questions regarding that. One of our big inserts right now is the Primo insert. I would like to say that this is the insert for almost everyone. It will protect for every dental laser on the market and curing light. So I'm gonna give you a quick example. So I've got my loops on here and this right here is the Primo light, the Primo. And what these lenses will do, these will cover all curing light and laser light that we know of right now. Now we put the numbers on the back here so you can always double check with your laser, but this just pops right in the back side of my loops like that and I'm ready to go. And again, takes out. So if you have questions regarding inserts, we've been doing it a very long time. We have lots of experience and we can help you do so. Again, the great thing about this product is it will cover every current dental laser that we know of and curing light. But again, you can call us with questions or check with your laser safety officer or your laser, to your laser company to confirm. So that is our presentation. We've, uh, as I said, we've been doing this quite a long time. Uh, we've got a, a lot of experience with working with many different dentists in all sorts of different industries, and we'd like to help you. We'd like to open it up to any questions. Hi, Andy, it's Dr. Rowling, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. So there's a question I just sent over to your side, and I also wanted to point out to everyone um, in attendance today, I have a link at the top of the screen with a uh, button that says learn more to take them to your web page. Um, and you have a few people going there right now taking a look. So do you see the one question that I've sent over to you? I do. So it looks here. I think it's about uh, microscopic. Let's see here. Uh, is this the 980 diode question? Let me go ahead to the bottom, sorry, there's so many. Any glasses that work with microscopes? Oh, great question. Uh, yes, and thank you for asking that, uh, Rebecca Prescott. 
Um, do we have any glasses that work with microscopes? Well, we uh, have a couple solutions. Now you can wear eyewear, laser protection eyewear when working with microscopes. And again, we've kind of covered that laser eyewear, uh, but we also have uh, microscope filter inserts. So this is another custom product that we have to have more details because there's so many different microscopes out there and so many different lasers that we do have the ability um, for example, just a couple of days ago, I was working with a doctor who sent me um, the, the, uh, the insert on his microscope, and we actually custom cut protective lenses that you pop in there so that you can use your microscope when working with a laser. So yes, those the best thing to do for anybody that's looking for protection with a microscope is to contact us because there's a lot of custom filtration that we have to do for that.